Sashiko is a Japanese repair technique and it's used to reinforce fabric that has become threadbare or very thin, usually before a hole appears. It can also be used and applied to pressure points such as elbows and knees to strengthen those areas on a garment to prevent them from wearing out too quickly. Now for this Sashiko inspired repair, you'll need pins, needle, scissors, two colors of thread. Now I'm going for an embroidery thread, a white embroidery thread for my Sashiko stitches and then a contrast thread just to tack a patch in place behind the Sashiko. And of course you'll need a needle. I like to use a long darning needle and scissors. Now I've just placed a patch of fabric underneath the garment that I am strengthening and repairing. Now I've done very large running stitches around the edge just to hold it in place. Because I'm using embroidery thread, embroidery thread actually comes in six, has six threads twisted together. Now I've split the threads so that I have two threads here. I'm not going to knot the end, but I am going to run the thread through my hands just to lubricate it. You could also use beeswax if you have that. Now, Sashiko, it does traditionally use white thread, but you could use any color. You could get creative if you like. This is a, a visible mend usually, but you could also try and color match and make it invisible or uh, so it looks slightly textured. Once you've patched the underside, now you're not going to put the patch in place firmly, but what you'll see here is that I've made, just as I did with the other patch, an area larger than the area that I need to reinforce. Now you can see here that this fabric has become quite worn out. It's in need of some intervention, otherwise it will need a patch. I'm going to start from the underside. Again, this is something that you could do, you could add to later on if you wanted to. Um, and I'm just gonna leave a little tail at the end. I'm not going to knot it, but instead I'm going to anchor the stitch. And I'm gonna do that just by doing two stitches on top of each other. Let's see. Sashiko means little stabs. And so you're gonna be doing very small a running stitch up and down through the fabric, working in rows. When you come to the end, you want to work back in the opposite direction. When you go back in the opposite direction, place your stitches in the gaps. And then just continue working across the area that you're looking to cover. This is a really sort of slow and mindful type of repair. It may take some time, but it will allow you to use your garment for much longer. The stitches don't have to be perfect. In fact, they kind of act like handwriting. Everyone's sort of stitching will look a bit different and again will add some character to your garment. It's a nice way to show people that you have spent the time to repair it. And so continue working around the area that you wish to cover with this embroidery technique.